This is Michael Wilson. I'm looking at the premise uh, by Raymond Ibrahim, uh, where he says, there is no right or left. There's only right and wrong. That's a very striking and I, I think uh, an insightful way to see things. So who is Raymond Ibrahim? You may not have heard of him. He's an author, uh, most recently, of Defenders of the West, the Christian heroes who have stood against Islam. Uh, he's the distinguished uh, senior Shulman fellow at the Gatestone Institute. If you're not familiar with the Gatestone Institute, uh, you, you ought to uh, check their work out. Since uh, July of 2011, Ibrahim has been producing a monthly report, The Persecution of Christians. is dedicated to chronicling the abuses and slaughters of Christians uh, that is experienced throughout the Islamic world. In certain respects, these monthly reports, and there are over 120 of them, are the live, ongoing continuation of his 2013 book, Crucified Again. So in looking at uh, his, his article, one, his, his premise is that one of the most misleading and dangerous words that all sane people need to use with caution, if not just do away with it altogether, is the word the left. Why? Well, uh, he argues it bestows legitimacy, legitimacy on insanity, and I would say evil or worse. He contends it's a, it's a dangerous paradigm. So uh, quoting him, in the current discourse, the left and right are seen as polar opposites on a continuum of political views. Well, that makes sense. Imagine horizontal line. The further right one goes, the more conservative, religious, traditional one becomes. The further left, the more one becomes the opposite, liberal, liberal secular, progressive, Marxist. Meanwhile, and here's, in his opinion, uh, most arguably, the misleading aspect of this paradigm, and, and we all use it, is the middle of the line. It's the centrist position, which becomes the default middle ground of the area where supposedly non-ideologically charged people reside. Well, that's not true. Either something is right or it's wrong. Either it's true or it's false. And so, uh, again, quoting him, to a large extent, this paradigm is nonsense and is increasingly being used to legitimize falsehood and corruption. It is built atop, atop an assumption that there are no truths. And my opinion, we know Jesus is the truth, so we can count on what he says as being true or right, and anything that opposes that is being false or lies. So anyway, he continues. Um, if anything, uh, there are somewhere in the middle this approach that that is false as well. In so much as one veers to the right or the left, he becomes an extremist. So being right is being right. Being left is not being left. It's being false misleading, disingenuous, and a lie. So this, this um, moderate madness, and he points it out as uh, the way to consider as an example, consider the false rise of gender confusion, if not hysteria, where identifying with either gender or make-believe genders automatically makes the one of that gender and woe to whoever objects. You just can't say to someone who says, well, I was born a man, but I'm actually a woman and you have to respect that. Well, no, there's right, only two genders, and there's wrong, anything that opposes that. So in reality, there are only two genders. Left and right constructs are not useful Affirming the scientific fact is not a rightist position. It's a factual position. Anything that diverges from it 
by a little or even a lot is wrong, in my opinion, evil. It's unworthy of consideration or debate. It's deserving of zero limit legitimacy. You can't legitimize wrong. So in this context, the right is right, pure and simple, and every everything that moves to the left or even goes a slight tad towards the middle is wrong. That includes the squeamish, squishy chamber of commerce right, and certainly the center, to say nothing of the left where unadulterated madness reigns. So he continues, for people of faith, especially monotheist, Jews, Christians, Muslims, understand what is going on and what words to use should be especially simple. We establish scripture as our source, Jesus is the truth, and anything that deletes, delete, um, excuse me, deviates from that is wrong. It's not left, it's wrong. So the truth may be that God created Adam and Eve, or that homosexuality of any kind is a sin, when I'm missing a mark or an error, whatever that religious truism going against it should not be seen by the faithful as an alternative position. One on a make-believe line stretching from right to left, with each extreme having its own logic. Anything that verges even a little from the truth should be seen for it is a falsehood and a lie. And we know that the devil and the Satan is the father of all lies. So in this more accurate context, those who spew gender nonsense can at least be seen what, for what they are. They're not extreme leftists, but poor souls who suffer from insanity or possession. These adjectives may appear highly offensive, though no more offensive than the positions they describe, but at least they more accurately define what you're really dealing with. So what should we do? We should speak up for what is right, what is correct, what is true. We know this from Jesus and the scripture and anything else should be defined as deviant, evil lies.